Hello, I'm Clark Snellgrove with the BYU Physics Demonstration Area. Today I'd like to show you a demonstration that we do that involves how the resistance of a wire changes with temperature. We're going to use a small coil of wire that's wrapped around a bolt. It's got a nice little handle here. And as we dip it into liquid nitrogen, we're going to change the temperature of it. To illustrate how this works, I want to first show you what the light bulb would look like if I just turned it on with the power supply. So I'm just going to have a basic power supply here, and you can't see much light coming out of the light bulb here. We're at a few tenths of a volt, and it's drawing about an amp to current. There you go. Okay. And as I increase the voltage, as expected, we see more current being drawn and the light bulb getting brighter. As we remember, of course, the light bulb's getting hot and therefore its resistance changes. So if we were to look at the voltage versus current relationship, we certainly wouldn't see a nice linear relationship. But up at around 5 volts, which is what this light bulb is rated for, we get about 2.5 amps of current flowing, and it burns quite brightly. Now if I take that out of the circuit, insert another lead, connect my coil into series with that, now the current is passing through the light bulb. We're at 6 volts and about 75 hundredths of an amp, and of course that doesn't light the light bulb very well. Now when we go ahead and insert that into the liquid nitrogen, the temperature will start to drop. temperature starts to drop, the resistance drops, and thus the current goes up. And as the current goes up, the light bulb, of course, gets brighter and brighter. Give that a few seconds to cool off. It shouldn't take but 10 to 15 seconds to cool off considerably. Remember, Liquid nitrogen is at 77 Kelvin, so that's pretty cold. Quite a difference between the room temperature, which is on the order of 300 Kelvin. So we're dropping down some 270 some Kelvin, uh, and uh, that's quite a bit. And as you can see, at liquid nitrogen temperatures, we're nearly up to the same current that we had before we inserted it in there at approximately the same brightness. So thank you for what. Oh, if we pull it out and we let it uh, warm back up, of course, the reverse effect happens. A little harder to cool it off in just the air. But you can clearly see that the current is dropping as it warms up. Not quite as fast and not quite as dramatic, but it certainly does show the reverse effect of when it warms up, you get a higher resistance. Thank you for watching our demonstration. Uh, coefficient of resistance changing with temperature on a coil of wire.